How many times have you heard, well, that's just the way the world is? No, the world is this way because for thousands of years, we have let it be. How long does it take to change the world? That is the question. And that is what this project is all about. To introduce for the very first time a brand new language of modern peace for our 21st century world in critical need. This is about the story behind every single story that has ever been told. Every author, every historian, every poet, every artist, every spiritual seeker has spent their entire life looking for it. It is the through line between Chekhov, John Coltrane, Proust, Kafka, Maurice Sendak, Hannah Arendt, Huxley, Dostoevsky, Dave Chappelle, Louis C.K., Steve McQueen, Paolo Sorrentino, Scott Stossel, and Nina Simone. It is the state of the human condition. of what it means to truly be human and how to experience the meaning of life, fully awake and fully alive. The dream of all humanity has always been peace, and yet the closest we seem to ever get to it is in Christmas songs, which get lost underneath all the wrapping paper, or our only known concept of peace has been this 1960s hippies version of a new age utopian impossible fantasy. Peace on Earth has become so cliche that even beauty pageant winners can no longer cite it as a goal. Instead, self-destruction has now become normalized. Modern human suffering has never before been solved. Because if it had, our world would not look the way that it does right now, today. A civilization is only as evolved as its paradigms. And the state of the world is simply the summary of the individual human condition. Our world 
requires new models that are universal, intelligent, and to quote Jimi Hendrix, that are bold as love and free. Because what is real is always free. We need more than talking heads, more than ambitious politicians, more than reality shows, and certainly we need more than wealthy religious leaders preaching about the poor, and more than a proliferation of self-help gurus. What is fake is now packaged as real. Art has turned into artifice, and illusion is sold to us as the truth. For those in the public eye, cashing in and building careers on the world's suffering is no longer the exception. It has now become the rule. Our global culture has a stark absence of role models, which explains a tremendous amount for this generation that is now coming up. The real reality is that between all of the road rage and the school shootings, there is now a genocide in the Central African Republic as I speak these words. South Sudan, the world's newest nation, is already imploding. And there is a war of unspeakable carnage in Syria that is going on and has been going on, with the rest of the Middle East in a boiling pot of increasing volatility. And in North Korea, there are hundreds of thousands of people in labor camps, as horrifying as those of Nazi Germany. There are 30 million people living in modern day slavery right now. And in India, there are a mind-boggling amount to even conceptualize 170 million human beings living at the bottom of a heinous caste system. Depression is on track to becoming the world's number one disease. And in the United States of America, although no one likes to talk about it, there is now an epidemic of suicide and self-destruction is the leading cause of death in the U.S. of A. There are one in five Americans taking at least one kind of psychiatric medication. And yet, it is to be living at the most exciting time in human history. Because the future is in our hands and the stakes are enormously high. Addiction, celebrity, sexuality, war, happiness, beauty, death, racism, dogma, plastic surgery, self-help, we will be opening into all of these topics here. Our old world is dying as an extraordinarily new world is arising. And that is why I have, with tremendous joy, dedicated my life to this. Because I love my family. And my family is humanity. My grandmother was born in the south of Sudan, and my grandfather was born in Syria. And that is the purpose of my soul on this earth, to awaken humanity back to itself. 
and well aware of the risk of walking into the unknown. But if I beat the net, will appear unknown. And I suppose this is where I should introduce myself. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> my name is Bridget Sicard. And I hope wherever you are in the world watching this, that you will be as excited as we are to join this conversation as we ignite a new piece of peace <laughs> each week as we introduce new episodes meant with you together to ignite all of humanity to know at last it can finally be different. Because ultimately it has to be said, life can be so very beautiful for you and, and this is a huge and, and for the world. The time has come to finally revolutionize revolution. Here we go. Welcome to my world. Make yourself at home. Here you are never alone. Welcome to my world, where every day is our chance to see who we are meant to be. I am just one woman trying to survive. And there are days I feel the burden of keeping my heart alive. But there is a singular joy that transcends all the pain I've seen and all. I'm on my own. That is to choose to live and love and give and grow. Thank you.